Shalom. Call her law, Yahweh by Shanel Shai, by Shambhra Kadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, it be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the aquath that are listening and learning. To you, I say, Shalom. This is your brother Malcolma from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with another lesson in truth. And hopefully it's edifying. This is, uh, I'm tuning in on to the, uh, <clears throat> the subject matter of the, uh, of the virgin birth, kind of trying to kill two birds with one stone. Also that the law still is, still is in place, right? Because in, uh, Luke, the, uh, the 21st, uh, I'm sorry, the second chapter, um, it clearly tells you that, that Mary went through the purification process, which is part of the law. So proving both cases, proving that first and foremost, she had received seed to become pregnant. All right. And, and, um, to go to the, through the purification laws. And, and secondly, that it was, that's also in the law that she'd have to do so. So that destroys, uh, two of Christianity's falsehoods uh, right there because that's a uh, let me see I think this Luke uh, I mean not Luke but Leviticus 12 and uh, started around verse verse 2 in Leviticus 12 and it reads matter of fact I just read one and and, and Yahweh spake unto Moses saying Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, if a woman have conceived seed. So how do you conceive seed? That's when a man puts his his penis inside of you and he uh, ejaculates sperma, sperm, his seed inside of you. And it goes into your womb and it penetrates your egg. And then you and then your womb incubates his seed, that life that are that he shot into you and your womb. Covers it, protects it, protects it, and nurtures it, and bring, and then nine, ten months later, it brings forth a male or female child, which is the seed of that man. All right, try to explain it as simple as it is. That's the process. All right. It says, if a woman have a conceived seed and born a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. According to the days of separations of her infirmity, shall she be unclean. So she's unclean for that time period. And the eighth day, the flesh of his foreskin shall be circumcised. All right. And why is it this? Because for those seven days, she's nurturing and feeding him, breastfeeding him. So the child is, is away from everyone right along with his mother at that time. Okay. That's the pure fruit. Matter of fact, I'll just keep reading. And it says, And the eighth day shall, oh, I read that, Salakia, verse four. And, and she shall then continue in the blood of her pure, find three and thirty days. Shall she not touch no hollow thing, nor come into the sanctuary until the days of her purification be fulfilled. So how often do we see that? What do they do? And, and they don't do that, follow that now in the churches. Especially in that wicked Catholic church, as soon as you're able to walk, you know, they're bringing that baby into the sanctuary to, to put that unholy water on it and, 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 and put the cross, which is a mark of death, when Satan went uh, up and down and to and fro onto that baby. All right. Because remember, the only time that the, the cross is mentioned, uh, uh, that up and down to and fro is mentioned in the Bible, which is a sign of the cross, which is a mark of death. And what was Satan doing when he did it? <clears throat> He was seeking who he might destroy, who he might devour. All right, remember that. That's in Job, the first and second chapter. Verse five. But if she bear a, a maid child, then she shall be unclean two weeks in her separation, and she shall continue in blood of her purification three score and six days. And when the days of her purification are fulfilled, and a score is 20 days, so that you know. All right, it was 20. 
And when the days of her purification are fulfilled for a son or daughter, she shall bring a lamb of the first year for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation unto the priest. See, and, and so we're separated from that. We're se this is, and we're separated from our laws and our heritage in, in, in this captivity. We cannot do these things. All right. But that doesn't mean that the laws were done away from that done away with we are simply in captivity and cannot keep all of our laws so you fast forward to when the lord was born and to now because for you idiots out there that was in biblical times dummy we're still in biblical times all right this is uh luke 2 and 22 i'll start at 21 and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child his name was called yahawashai which was so named of the angel be before he was conceived in the womb. So it had already been labeled. All right. He just told you she was, he was conceived in the womb. And the daddy wasn't the angel, you know. You didn't have a, 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 an adulterous angel running around popping other men's wives. All right. That's and it also tells you in the Bible that the angels don't have the, the don't have the the uh, flesh like men they don't even have the they don't even have the desire nor the parts to do that all right their 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 body's not made that way all right they don't eat or sleep or drink they don't need that they don't have a desire sex is something that's designed for procreation here on earth among animals and men all right and with the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished Showing you that the Israelites were still under the law when the Lord was 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 come. He was subject to the law at his birth. All right. So once again, killing two things, proving that there was no virgin birth. And secondly, he was born under the law himself. Even though he's higher than the law, but that's another story. And when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses was accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. See? The same way they did back then. As it is written in the law of, of Yahweh, every male child that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. So that was the law. That was the law. So it's the Israelites were still under that law. So the church teaching uh, otherwise. And then I was listening to uh, Apostle Aramlab do a lesson where he started reading uh, 1 Corinthians about, you know, meats that's been... Pray, you know, sacrifice to other uh, uh, things, you know, and how you should avoid eating them, um, you know, just to, to just to, to keep contention away from that. The Israelite that knows no better that all things belong unto the Lord and that if you prayed over a righteous food, not an unclean thing. All right. That you still can eat it. But just to keep that contention down to just, you know, not to do it. But here, as we begin to read, I'm going to start reading. um Um, hmm. I just started verse one, but I must read it 11 first. It says, now these, these things happen unto them for in samples that are written for I admonition upon whom the ends of the world are come. All right. And, and, and just like it says that the things written aforetime were written for, for our understanding. This is, uh, Romans 15 and four. And it reads, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So how are we going to have hope? The hope is, is telling you that you need to follow and keep the laws. All right. And Mary went through the lawful process, keeping the law of purification after she conceived seed, proving that she conceived seed seed all right it also tells you in that same book of luke uh uh that joseph was from the house of of, of david direct the blood descendant all right meaning she had the, he came through solomon's loins mary did not 
okay? So uh, let's read some of this uh, Corinthians and then we'll close this out. It says, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 1 and it reads, Moreover, brethren, all right, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that our, all our fathers were under the cloud and all that passed through the sea. So this proves that this is only to the Israelites. Only the Israelites were under the cloud. Brethren, according to the flesh, go to, you go to Romans, see Romans, the ninth chapter for that. All right. He said, moreover, brethren. So he's talking about Israelites and only Israelites. This isn't to so-called white people, so-called Chinese people, Japanese people, Africans, you know, there are Israelites and Africans. So, yes, it is to them. But the other Africans, the Hamites, it's not who are the majority of Africans. It's not to them. All right. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea, and did all eat the same spiritual meat, the law. All right? And did drink the same spiritual spiritual drink, for they drank the spiritual rock that followed them. The rock was uh Yahweh Shai. So that's the New Testament. That's that's the uh right there in the New Testament telling you that 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 who was in that uh uh cloud that protected them, Yahweh Shai was. All right, he was there in the beginning, man. All right, he was that that death angel that came over, uh, uh, over and killed all the damn Egyptians and the firstborn and and the hard headed firstborn who 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 cleaved on to the uh, uh, to the to the Hamites to the Egyptians. All right, but with many of them, God was not well pleased, for they were not over they were they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were were our examples to intent that we should not lust after evil things as they are lusted to. So what? Following, going against the law. They were in trouble because they went against the law. Why? Because they were still trying to cleave on to those idols that they had learned why they learned of while they were in the Egyptian captivity. Some of them were still trying to cleave on to them, as many of them are trying to cleave on them unto them today. I was looking at a video, a still shot from a video of Sarnetta, and he's talking, and he's all he's talking about is the Bible and the Hebrew Israelites and, and going into the scriptures now all of a sudden. But on the wall behind him, he still has a, a, a big old thing of Africa on it. Africa is not, our, well, the truth be, truth be matter, the whole world is ours, is the Israelites. But, but Africa is not our continent. All right. But it says, uh, verse, nine, uh, verse 7, neither... Be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, for some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Hamashiach, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. So, when they were tempting the Lord and being destroyed, what was happening? The law was being the law of Moses, which is the law of the Lord. All right. Moses just delivered it. OK. Was being neglected. And there's a payment for that. OK. Let's get one last scripture to close this out on the two on the subject of a no virgin birth and the law still stands. Um, And it reads, this is Romans nine and uh, seven and one, one of my favorite scriptures to read about it and then i just close the book if you can't get it when this is read then this what's the point of talking to you and you can precept that with deuteronomy 6 and 25 by the way but it reads uh know ye not brethren this is romans 9 7 and 1 know ye not brethren for i speak to them that know the law how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he liveth That we close the book. Call Haloi Halbashan Abashai Bashan Wa Kakodash Wa